Thanks, Jacqueline. And despite this pandemic, small business owners are still carrying on. And those in Forsyth County, well, they can get help and resources all in one place. So I'd like to welcome Alan Younger now. He's the director of Small Business Center at Forsyth Tech and a part of the NC Idea Foundation, which supports entrepreneurship throughout our state. Alan, thank you for waking up early and joining us this morning. How are you? Good morning. You, you know me and you know that I've been up for a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like to first ask you, I love the idea of small businesses getting help. Can you kind of tell me the history of how this program started at Forsyth Tech? Absolutely. We actually started doing what I'm about to describe in 1984, so we're not new to this. <laughs> So the Small Business Center is a part of a statewide network of small business centers. All of us are connected to our community colleges. So we serve all 100 uh, counties in North Carolina. What we do, the two main services that we provide are educational events. For example, we have one focused on marketing this week and another one focused on business planning. And we also have a team of business counselors or business mentors who can partner with people, whether they're looking to start a business or they've been in business for years and look, they're looking to grow that business. Oh, wow. So these things that you're just talking about, it's available to everybody across the state. So what specific resources, I know you mentioned a couple there, can people really take advantage of once they are able to become part of the program? Sure. So the two uh, programs that we have tomorrow one is focused on marketing and one is business planning. The one that's focused on marketing, everyone is invited to participate in. It's 12.30 to 1.30 most Wednesdays. It's called Marketing Outside the Box. This particular month, we have a series focused on public relations and how it can positively impact your business. And we want people to join that. Each month we have a different series. And so if you're not able to join us on Wednesdays from 12.30 to 1.30, the good news is you can find the videos at the Facebook page for the Small Business Center at Forsyth Tech. And then our evening event uh, tomorrow evening is called How to Write a Business Plan. Many businesses struggle because they don't take the time to plan. Before starting the business and then during the time that their business is functioning, they don't make the adjustments to make sure that they can stay relevant to their customers. Those are our main services, educational events, but then we also have business mentoring. And every business owner is invited to arrange an appointment to meet with a business mentor or any combination of mentors. And they will help provide all kinds of experience and knowledge to help businesses to be successful. And many of these business mentors have owned their own businesses, so they certainly understand the challenges that small businesses face. I mean, they always say those who can show you the way, it's actually better to get advice from people who have done it before as well. But I do have to ask you, you did mention things changing a little bit. How has the pandemic actually impacted the Small Business Center and has it changed the way that you guys operate? As a matter of fact, in April of 2020, our Marketing Outside the Box series was called Pivoting because of the pandemic, so something like that. And what we had to do and what a lot of business owners had to do is adjust, either adjust what they're selling or providing, what services they're providing, or they had to adjust how they delivered those products or services. As a result, many businesses didn't make it through the pandemic. However, many businesses were successful because they made the adjustments that, that people needed for them to make. There's a, a, a bunch of new businesses that even started during the pandemic because they recognized the needs and adjusted to meet those needs. Very true. And so many people, maybe if they had had these resources, they would have been able to sustain through the pandemic. So can you kind of tell people how they can get started if they are a small business owner and they want to join? Absolutely. Fortunately, uh, our taxes pay for these services, so nobody has to reach for their purse or their wallet. All they need to do is connect with us. So on the screen, hopefully everybody can see, our website is foresighttech.edu forward slash SBC, as in Small Business Center. When somebody goes there, they should scroll down just a little bit and they'll see two green buttons. One says events. If they would like to engage in some of our educational events, they click on that button, They'll see a chronological listing of, of the different events that are coming up, and they can, can register for those events. And the Zoom information will be sent to them because everything that we're doing right now is virtual. And then also on that website, another green button says counseling slash mentoring. And then it, when they click on that button, they'll see the, 
the list of all the mentors and what their specialties are, when they're generally available, and people can make appointments with them. And um, that most of those appointments are, are virtual. They'll either take place on the telephone or in a virtual format. And uh, there's no cost to either of these services. We want people to connect. A third way that people can connect with us is by going to our Facebook page, Small Business Center at Forsyth Tech. And what you will find when you go to the page is that there are a lot of resources. There's news that we share. There are, there's good news about the different clients that we're working with. Sometimes there's events that are coming up that we want them to see. And then in the video section, they can see videos of some of our educational events. And then just also some sharing of, of information that could be helpful to them. Awesome. Thank you so much, Alan, for joining us. And of course, again, that 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 website where people can find more information is for scythetech.edu slash SBC. Thank you so much. So many great resources right here in our backyard.